What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how Travis Scott's Can't Say was made on FL Studio. Also, in the next couple of weeks, I wanna do an AMA, so ask me some questions in the comments below if you're interested in finding out something, and I'll answer them in a previous, in a future video. <laughs> I'll answer them in a previous video. Also, the FLP and the stems are available to my Patreon supporters, so if you wanna check it out, Here's a link to it right now. First off, we have the introduction. We have two things to go through here. The first one I wanna go through is this reverse sign pad thing. It sounds like this. Before we export and reverse this pattern, it's gonna sound like this. This first preset comes from a contact factory library bank called Cloud Supply. It sounds like this. Then for effects, we're using Transient Master, which is making the pluck sound more gentle. Then for the second preset, we're going into Sakura and we're using the String Deep Harp 1. And that preset sounds like this at the start. And on this preset, we're turning off reverb and delay. Then we're taking up the envelope attack. Then for effects, we're chopping out the lows and the highs, and then we're adding some RC20 retro color. So both of them playing together. After that, we're putting this in the playlist and going render and replace. From there, just go into the audio clip and go reverse. Out of all the Travis Scott songs that I've remade so far, Can't Say has actually been the easiest. I know a lot of you are like, whoa, Can't Say, it's just the impossible remake. And it kind of is because they're using a guitar playing live. For the guitar, it was actually played by John Mayer live. So if you're looking for a preset, it doesn't exist. So to recreate the guitar, I wanted to find out what guitar he used in making this song. So I was listening to a bunch of John Mayer content and I found this video. And the first guitar that you hear in this video sounds just like the guitar that you hear in Can't Say. <laughs> And that guitar sounds a lot like something that you would hear on a Travis Scott song. So I kept watching the video and the guitar that he's using pokes through here. And you can see just in the corner that it's made by Dysonberg. It's the Dysonberg Caribou. Carabao. So that's the guitar that was used probably to make Can't Say. Sadly, there isn't a VST that exists based off this guitar. So I messaged my guitar friend to see what guitars sound similar. And one of the guitars that he recommended was the Gibson ES-335. And what's crazy here is that Ample Sound, my favorite guitar VST, modeled their semi-hollow guitar off the Gibson ES-335. And this VST, the Ample Guitar SH, worked perfectly. And I made this preset, which sounds like this. And in the effects panel, we're taking up the high end and we're turning off reverb and echo. We're adding RC20 retro color and we're adding some wobble, some distortion, some space, some magnetic, taking up the tone, taking up the width, taking down the volume. Then we're adding some EQs and it's gonna sound like this at the end. After that, I exported this pattern into the playlist. Then I added some effects, most importantly, fruity flanges and fruity chorus. And it's gonna sound like this. Also, we are panning this preset from left to right, and a really easy way of automating the pan is clicking on this little thing at the top left and going to automate and going either volume or panning, and that will add this little pan thing here, and you can automate the pan like so. There you go, that's a sneaky little tip for you. Don't tell anybody, it's a trade secret. Then after a total of 24 bars, we are coming into the chorus. And we have a bunch of instruments to go through. The kick, the 808, the hi-hat, the clap, the snare are all identical. We have this new preset coming in from Ample Sound, which sounds a little bit like this. This is the pattern that it plays through. Here the external effects make a really big difference, especially flanges and chorus.
Then let's go through the percussion loop. This is the hi-hat. I really like this hi-hat loop. It's playing around with the pitch, playing around with uh, hi-hat rolls. We're changing the note panning. We're going into the note filter cutoff frequency and we're bringing some of these notes down. So it's using a whole bunch of different hi-hat techniques to make this really groovy pattern. Then we have the identical kick. Let's get a good look at it. To compare the waveforms, I always take up the time base to 960 and you can zoom right in after you do this. Just by comparing the waveforms, you can see that it matches perfectly. This is actually a really popular UK drill kick. So you'll see this in a lot of UK drill drum kits. Then we have this rim shot and it plays every third beat. Then we have this perk, another rim shot, and this snare. So it all plays together like this. Then we have this 808, and it plays this pattern. And right here we have a couple slide notes going from A sharp 4 to A sharp 5 or B flat 5. And all together. Then the beat breaks down to what Genius calls the interlude. And here we have the same loop from the beginning. But we're adding some effects to the percussion. The first effect that we're adding here is half time, which is just cutting the speed in half. Then RC20 Retro Color, and we're cutting out some of the low end, bringing down the tone and adding a tiny bit of space. Then finally, we're adding Fruity Limiter to stop the kick from redlining during this section. Then during the Don Tolliver verse, we are switching out the rim shot with a clap. The 808 switches up here as well. That's pretty much everything actually. All of this stuff repeats throughout the entire song. If you like the background music, you can check that channel down in the link below. And if you wanna get your music playing on this channel, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway, and I will use your music. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.